Hey everyone, this is Mindy from Anchored Love Exotics. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Sapphira, who is better known as Ribs. Um, those of you who have known me for the last three years, well almost four years actually, that I've been um, in the hobby, know her story. Um, basically, back early 2014, a local pet store had her um, and sold her to a pregnant 15 year old idiot and uh, she came back about eight months later and she was so skinny and just covered in so much stuck shed that she had scabs like all over her body and she had such a horrible respiratory infection she couldn't even breathe without her mouth open um, so the the pet store had me take her to kind of rehab her for a little while um, I noticed she had a a swelling in her lower third so I wasn't sure if there was some sort of impaction or or what so um, after a couple months of doing what I could to try to get her to eat trying to keep her hydrated etc she still wouldn't eat the swelling pretty much got bigger really it was never going down so we decided to take it to a vet um, that did an ultrasound on that lower third swelling and long story short they uh, they found little spinal formations, um, so essentially she was pregnant, and um, I guess they said that there was no heartbeats um, and all that kind of stuff, so they were saying that ribs was too weak to pass them on her own and that we'd have to bring her up to Tufts and have them surgically removed, otherwise she would go septic and blah, blah, blah. So they kind of just uh, gave me, of course, antibiotics for the respiratory infection, and um, lactated ringers as a um, sub-Q fluid to try to keep her hydrated and whatever. So uh, one day I got home from work and I opened up her tub to give her her uh, 10 cc's of lactated ringers and she had passed all the babies and I was beside beside myself I you know thinking that all the babies were dead of course <laughs> um super super emotional and after a few minutes of just being a pathetic thing on the floor I took a closer look and I mean there were the tongues were moving uh, she had 24 babies and every single one of them was alive not one slug not one still um that was just absolutely incredible especially considering she was sick and on antibiotics and both of those factors can is is almost always like a death sentence for for all the babies and that was crazy um they ended up being about two weeks early all their yolks were not um absorbed or anything so that was quite the process trying to get them to uh absorb all their yolks i had to keep them in an incubator for quite a while and keep them really wet basically make it so that they were pretty much still in their mother's womb at the time um so yeah that was crazy i lost one that night because the yolk just kind of came out i couldn't get to tying them all off and on in on time and uh we lost that one, but other than that, all the rest of them, they're all over the country now, and this is mom. Um, I had to rescue her again um, a second time after she went back to the pet shop after she had the babies, and I got her eating and got her, you know, all rehabbed. So uh, I will tell the second half of her story another time because this video is getting a little long, but that's the, the short end of the story of the baby miracle boas that just turned three years old on May 2nd.